Hello, how you doing? I'm your girl, Michelle Hope Walker. Okay, you all, we're gonna dive right in. Suge Knight and the film, Last Man Standing. Hmm, I know I was reading, you know, when I first started hearing stuff about it, I think this was like last year sometime, I was like, oh, wow. Well, maybe um, Suge has done a deal with this person and this is like part of a biography talking about, you know, the real truth when it comes to Suge, you know. Um, then as now it's getting closer to the time of being released, which from what I'm understanding in the UK, they're having a Q&A on June 30th. Um, and uh, then I guess here July 2nd is when it's supposed to open up here in the US. Um, but as I was reading some of the snippets that talked about, you know, okay, I understand the part where they're talking about Tupac and Biggie and still trying to figure out what happened to them, which that makes sense, you know. Um, you know, sometimes when people are like, why are we still talking about them years later? Well, one, because especially in the day and age when we're talking about black men being killed and, um, no one knowing who did it, which someone knows who does, a lot of people probably know who does, you know what I'm saying? Um, but they're not able to find who did it or, 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 you know, for whatever reason, things keep getting detoured on knowing who is the person that actually did the killings of um, black men and black women. Um, so that's what makes, you know, whether it was a Tupac or Biggie or anyone else that has passed a, 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 a very big story that we want to continue to look into until we find out who killed the person, you know. Um, and well, I don't know, and Tupac, you ready to say, I don't know, it may still be like, I, I don't know. <laughs> the story here is about Shug Knight. But, but I'm just saying, you know, for some people that, you know, sometimes you hear this, why are we still talking about And then when you add on, these again are black men also who are well known, worldwide known for the music, acting, and different things, accolades that they did. So, yes, that makes it even more heightened on people wanting to know what happened to them, who killed them, what's going on, you know. Um, so again, you know, okay, I understand that part, um, cause what, Nick Broomfield, and, uh, he's already done one film too, which I think I may have seen some snippets of that one before too, and I can't remember if he was so much accusing Shug, um, of, uh, you know, what all went on or not, you know, but, um, I start to read, as I read snippets of this new one coming out, The Last Man Standing, and, um, the picture of Shug in the middle, that don't look like Shug. <laughs> Did he find somebody that looked like Suge and had them put a, their face up a little bit so you can't hardly tell? But I know Suge, so I'm like, that don't look, I mean, it may be Suge, but it just really don't look like Suge. But um, that's not the bigger picture I'm talking about. So the big point is, um, well, even before we go to the bigger point, like I said, well, the big point is Suge, and it seems like they're trying to accuse Suge again. <laughs> oh, I'm like, even when... Nick starts talking about Russell Poole, you have to remember there are two parts to Russell Poole. Um, and Russell Poole is the officer who also had been researching who would kill Tupac, who would kill Biggie, and all this other different stuff that went on, right? But there are two parts to Russell Poole. There's the part where before I think he himself was trying to blame Shug. Then there's a part of the afterlife and the after fact where then he realized, oh no, it wasn't Shug. And they started looking at other folks, which as Nick in the movie, um, the film, the documentary, The Last Man Stand, is also looking at other folks. Now I don't know about them other folks, but I'm talking about Shug. <laughs> Okay, that's the part I'm focused on. And so I'm just like, even Russell Poole himself, so as I'm seeing snippets of the, you know, readings of the film, The Last Man Standing, um, which you're talking about Suge being the last man standing. Um, and, and, and even before we dive more, again, another assault on Suge's life, another attack on that Suge is alive. I mean, you know, I'm baffled by people acting like Suge's body being living is a crime. It goes back to as we do the marches on how just black bodies, a lot of time, um, 
uh, last year and this year and what went on with George Floyd and even before that I'm sure the people are talking about just how people find our black bodies offensive. You know, people who are racist, people that have racist tendencies just don't like the black body, period. They just tend to think because it's a black body that we, we, we must be guilty of something because we're in this black body. You know what I'm saying? And again, those of us black people, well, most of us, because again, we got some black people, they're just as bad as <laughs> the people that aren't black on blaming black bodies. You know, again, I've learned just because a person is black does not mean they think <laughs> they're for black people. It's sad, but you know, you, you do have to say that, you know. And so I'm having grown up and raised in the white supremacy's mindset to also accuse blacks of something. You know, like I said, I talk about, you know, we are the most provenest people because it seems like we have to prove that we're good people. We have to prove that we're educated people. We have to prove that we're not doing nothing wrong. You know, I don't know another race that has to prove things that haven't even done anything. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Most cases, other races, um, they're looked upon as good ethnic, eth ethnicities, good races, you know, and, and all different things like that. You know, they literally have to do something wrong. And for some of them, they literally have to do, excuse me, they literally have to do a lot wrong. <laughs> a lot wrong. I have soundnesses and allergies. They have to do a lot wrong for um, to even be accused of stuff. And sometimes even when they do wrong, <laughs> they still don't get in trouble. No one's still looking at them of doing something wrong. I'm talking about people that are not black people. You know what I'm saying? So again, back to the black body. That people, just because we're in this body that has color, beautiful color, because again, we black people, we love our color. We love being black, you know? So again, when I talk about this, I'm talking about it in the scenario of the challenges of racism that we have to continuously um, deal with. So that's, you know, where you're hearing me um, talking about it in that sense, you know? Um, and so they almost act like they want should to be dead it's, it's just sad you know it's like last man standing so since he's the last man standing shook they're accusing him of doing it because he stayed alive is it his fault <laughs> i mean just the way to even shape it i mean it's not funny but you're a mama comedian and actress you know and this personality so i tend to to talk about things in sarcastic type and in um in ways that you're just in awe of, you know, that you just can't believe it, that the, the funny comes up from the sense that it's not funny, but you just can't believe that these people are so racist, that these people are so wrong, <laughs> that these people are just so everything not good, bad, that they would rather see Shug dead than alive. That is so ludicrous to me. You know, so last man standing. So because he's still alive, Shook, because he's still standing, they accuse him of the murders of Tupac and Biggie. Really? When there are so many arrows pointing to so many different people, <laughs> it amazes me how they just continue to pull out the scenario of Shook. I mean, so many people that it could be. You know what I'm saying? Or groups of folks. Okay. Now, none of us was there. You know what I'm saying? None of us was there. So, you know, I'm writing off of what I'm basing a lot of what I'm talking about now is the point in the Last Man Standing film that Nick Broomfield has done and said something about with the assistance of a DJ, uh, Trevor Nelson. Hey, my dad last name is Nelson. I don't know if you family, Trevor, but you're on the wrong side of the road. <laughs> anyway. So, um, you know, in there where he's trying to use Russell Poole's research to point it to Suge Knight. So that lets me know then he didn't finish his research because when you finish the research on Russell Poole, which then you need to see Michael D. Carlin's information and Michael D. Carlin's interview with you, which I posted on my Twitter. My Twitter is Hope underscore speaks. Hope, H-O-P-E underscore, not the minus sign, but the line on the line, speaks. So if you look at that, I mean, it's other places too, but that interview with Suge Knight 
and Michael D. Carlin, where they're talking about Russell Poole. And by the way, again, Russell Poole died at the sheriff, the L.A. sheriff office, <laughs> someone within the building, the sheriff's office, and trying to let them know his findings and that it's not shook. It wasn't shook. That it was, but he pointed to a whole other folks, a host of folks. And how ironic it is that Russell Poole has spent all these years, when he was pointing the finger at Suge, he stayed alive. All of a sudden, when he's letting them know and has facts to prove it's not Suge, he ends up dead. Hmm. Interesting. Back to key point, and we're talking about Shook in the midst of this last man standing film. So, Nick Broomfield, you have to continue on your research to see the other side of Russell before he passed. The other side, the Russell pulled that before he passed and wanted to apologize to Suge Knight, realizing that it wasn't Suge Knight. And then also, as you listen to Michael D. Carlin, who will talk about, you have to separate Suge Knight from death row. Now, not from all the things that Suge Knight did to make death row a prominent label. We're not talking about that. But we're talking about when they start talking about um, death row being behind killings or folks at death row being behind killings, you have to pull Suge out of that. You have to pull Suge Knight out of that. That's the separation. That's the period of the separation time you start separating. Because there were a lot of people that worked for Suge. And some people knew those people, but they didn't really know Suge. They hadn't really talked to Suge, had a conversation with Suge, or knew Suge one on one, or Suge hadn't given them any orders to do A, B, or C. But the scenario is out there that it could be folks that worked for Suge or people that worked for death row records that was giving out some orders and, and, and putting some stuff together and doing some stuff. Not on theatrical. <laughs> but anyway, so Nick Broomingfield, Broomfield, Broomfield, let me say your name right. <laughs> Broomfield. Hon, you, you have to, and that's an endearment term, Nick. I like you, you know. I, I, Y'all know I love everybody. Even in the midst of me having to, you know, speak up. Because, you know, Suge is locked up. You know what I'm saying? So, but even before Suge was locked up, you know, I just, you know, thought like we got to, you know, we got to put the other side out there. And, and bless Suge heart, you know, sometimes she didn't worry about nothing y'all saying. She ain't living his life, you know. So I find myself having to be the one to, to be that other narrative of all that negative narr narr narratives that are out there. Them paid negative narratives. You know what I'm saying? Where folks getting paid. The paid voice. The voice that's saying whoever is paying them to say it. <laughs> uh. I'm free. <laughs> Nobody paying me. <laughs> me and God on this page, okay? Me and God. <laughs> me and God. <laughs> Woo! Trying to get the, the, the truth narrative, a, a positive narrative of Shook. Because there are plenty of positive narratives of Shook. And I'm so glad to hear more people coming out with them. I mean, even, my, uh, even Master P talks about how much more easier it was to negotiate with Suge Knight than it is to negotiate with these corporate companies. And more people are coming out. Speaking of coming out, I notice I keep reading about and they keep talking about, wow, it seems like since Suge has gotten 28 years, and you got to remember, that's what you hear he gotten. That's what you hear. Now, don't be alarmed or surprised when Pada Shug is out. Okay? <laughs> Some of y'all riding on this 28 years, okay? And just making up stuff. <laughs> Some of y'all just figuring Shug locked away so I could just say whatever I want to say. <laughs> But you know, you know, you know, and you know. 
<laughs> that you never know. Which you, you, you never know. You, you never know. 28 years. It could be five years, 10 years, tomorrow. <laughs> so, you know, just you want to make sure you're speaking truth. You know what I'm saying? Now, this is all I'm saying. And even though people are willing to pay you to say certain things, I don't know about you, but, I, you know, I believe in God, you know, and I believe God see and know everything. I don't care how much money somebody offered me. I'm not about to lie. You can't pay me to lie. Oh, the devil is a lie. You can't pay me to lie. <laughs> it's just, <laughs> mm -mm. no, no. Because see, God see and hear everything we say and do. Now, no, we're not perfect. None of us are perfect, which is why sometimes when y'all harper so much, she did this and she did that. And did it, did it, did it, did it, did sometimes it makes me look at What about you? What about you? What about you? What, 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 what did you do? Oh, that's what people don't back up. Then, uh, but, 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 but you, you know. Because I want to keep you focused on the McHugh's and Shook. So you can't look. Because then you're blinded. But I'm talking about Shook. That you don't see. What they done done. Or are doing. Presently. <laughs> oh goodness lord. Help me. <laughs> help me God. <laughs> These folks. <laughs> you Nick okay so Nick you gotta look at Russell Poole mindset and thought it's almost like remember how we talk about Malcolm X how Malcolm X had a certain type of mindset at one time but then before he died he had a different mindset should we go look at Martin Luther King they had a certain mindset at one time but then before he died he had a whole different mindset so Nick you gotta look at the full picture of Russell Poole, at least when it comes to Shook. When it, I'm just talking about the Shook part. You may be very well right on some of the other parts, some folks you're talking about. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. Allegedly, I don't know. <laughs> but I'm just saying. Uh, but Russell Poole himself was saying and wanted to apologize to Shook for all the years he had accused Shook. Now, don't get me wrong, Nick, because I have not seen the film. And I'm not just talking about the Nick. Like, this is just to all this looking and listening. Again, this is the narrative. <laughs> the speaking up for Suge negative. Narrative. <laughs> narrative. They've been negative. I'm giving you another narrative. <laughs> A positive for Suge narrative. So... This is for all folks that's watching. So again, Russell Poole wanted to apologize to Suge for all the years he had accused Suge. Now again, don't get me wrong, it's about to say that again, Nick, I haven't seen the film. So for all I know, because I know, you know, especially when you're um, promoting films and, and different things like that, you want to promote it to be juicy. Juicy, 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 juicy. Juicy, yeah, juicy, juicy. <laughs> My lipstick came out, juicy. So you promote certain things to get people to want to watch it. Now, for all I know, Nick, in actual film, you may yourself already be talking about that Russell then saying it was not Suge Knight. Not saying it wasn't some folks at Death Row Records. But you yourself in the film may be ending up discussing that it was not Suge Knight, the person. That's when you separate Suge Knight from the death row record. Sort of like what they're trying to do now. <laughs> oh, Lord. They, they, you know. Folks, death row record's mine. Death row record's mine. Death row record's mine. And like I have to come in and so eloquently remind them. Well, I don't know who claiming Death Row Records, but Suge did the work to make the stars and make the money that it did. Hmm. 
All right, y'all. <laughs> I know I'm playing with y'all, but on the real, y'all, on the real, on the real, you got to watch that paid voice and you got to think about when everybody's saying the same thing and are trying to block out, we'll say the small voice, that makes me want to hear the small voice. So the small voice is those that don't have a lot of likes on their social media feeds when they're discussing certain things. The, paid, the, the, the small voice is the one that's not the paid voice. Because what I realize when I hear the alternative voice to a certain subject or something, I tend to find more truth in that voice than I do the paid voice. Because the paid voice is saying what they've been paid to say. It's almost like if you look at, what was that the film? Was it 19 or 31 that Ava did? It's a number film, 13th. I think it's 13th. The Ava film. In there, it talked about, was a group of JL or something? You have to go watch the film. So I'm going to promote, go watch Ava's film, 13th. But um, where it talked about how everybody get a one sheeter. All the different medias and folks get a one sheeter. They get a one sheeter, right? And the one sheeter has certain points on it that they want them to talk about. And then no matter what news you turn on, from New York through middle America to LA, <laughs> just a different face, different face, faces keep changing, but the same plain voice coming out the mouth. That's what's the time I like to listen to news or different things that are not big money networks. I like to listen to y'all on YouTube. Y'all on these other social media platforms that's speaking of some stuff that the paid boys don't even want to talk about. <laughs> and they're actually, you gotta watch it because the paid boys will use a lot of money to shh, hush, to shh, silent the small voice, the alternate voice. So you want to listen to all, you know, things. You don't want to, oh, well, they ain't got that many likes. They don't know what they're talking about. Mm. They may very well know what they're talking about. Do you know that they alter likes? Which is interesting that now they've come out with the likes and the views and now you can turn it off. You know, you, you don't have to show how many people liked your video or viewed your video. When in reality, a lot of these social medias, if they didn't like the voice, if they didn't like what was said, they minimize the number of views that you actually had and likes that you actually had anyway. So that's just some bits of information for some of y'all. I'm very informative. <laughs> All right, that's it what was, y'all. I'm your girl, Michelle Hope Walker. <laughs> I don't know if I, you know, I'm a comedian. <gasps> Actress. I love delivering myself in an interesting way. <laughs> Because that's what y'all be doing. Y'all be on there. Oh my gosh. I be like, who? What? Huh? Oh my gosh. So I'm just being like, y'all paid voices. <laughs> oh my gosh. So if I'm giving a for sure positive narrative. All right. So let's get back down to it. So back to this film, Last Man Standing. So again, Nick, again, I might be jumping too quick. <laughs> <laughs> because you might be like, wait a minute, don't tell all my film, you know, because it could be in the film, you actually going to be telling the Russell Poole point, and you may be summing it up yourself with asking folks a question or telling folks it's not Shug. It's a whole lot of other folks involved. 
and it's not shook. <laughs> think that you know Nick with you spending the time if you're not one of these paid voices I, I'm thinking if, you know maybe you care you know you care and if you care thank you you know if you're really trying to you know because some people just do a lot of Suge stuff for money you know what I'm saying they know you know Suge is so well known around this whole globe and world that if you put some Suge's name on the front page of your paper, you'll sell your paper. You'll you, you you know you'll sell this or you'll sell your film or you know whatever the case might be. You know, and don't get me wrong, if you're speaking truth in some stuff, and then your pants are speaking of that. That's what made me think about. So is Suge getting paid for his information being in this film? I'm just curious. You know, because it's so interesting to me on how. You know, when people are, are, are doing these shield things and they're getting money. I'm talking about when you get money for, you know, pay. You know, you get paid for um, mentioning Suge's name or showing something in relation to Suge likeness. You know, when you look at intellectual law, it talks about that the person then should get paid a percentage or something. I don't know how when we're talking about Suge Knight, people tend to think that he shouldn't get paid. <laughs> I'm like, because the law doesn't say everybody else can get paid for their likeness exception. No, the law don't say that. The law talks about people as a whole. Whole, <laughs> meaning everybody. Talk so fast, so I got to repeat it so y'all can clearly understand what I was saying. Um, so I hope that he's getting paid for the parts legally you know you have to look at the intellectual you know laws and stuff for those of you all that are also interested in that to see what parts of in this film should 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 be getting paid for i don't know we should have teamed up with you on it. i don't know the way you're pushing it i wonder and i think no i don't think so but i don't know again i haven't seen the film i don't know what's what in it but so i just wanted to add those in there for those of you who are planning to watch the last man standing and different things to just you know some things to think about for those of you that just get so happy and cheerful whenever you think something is tearing should down you know i'm like mm, you know none of us are perfect you know and we need to really all love each other you know now are we all going to get along or agree about everything no but at least have a good heart and love god is love God is love. You know what I'm saying? Nobody is perfect. Um, so, you know, last man standing. You know, last man standing. You know, so just remember in all of this, my key point is watch the Michael D. Carlin and the Suge Knight interview. So I'm your girl, Michelle Hope Walker, and we're talking about this. Let's see, let me date this. So it is May 29th, 2021. May 29th, 2021. Um, you can follow me on uh, Twitter, Hope underscore Speaks. Um, Instagram, Michelle Hope Walker Speaks. Facebook, Michelle Hope Walker Speaks, period. Listen. So again, and shouts out to Suge Knight, Suge. I'm so happy for Suge. Suge is doing good, Suge knows how to deal with any situation that comes this way it reminds me of the scripture in Philippians that I've learned to be content no matter what situation comes my way no matter what you know when you have God you can be content like that you know and um you know so again and um again we do pray because we do want to know what all happened to Tupac and um, Biggie you know um, you know, we, we want to know where are they? What's going on? You know what I'm saying? You know, um, but again, this piece has been talking about the you should night in relation to this film. And again, remembering that as you're referencing Russell Poole, Russell Poole pointed out that Suge Knight had nothing to do with it and that he wanted to apologize to Suge Knight for all the years that he had accused Suge Knight. All right. You all be blessed. I'm your girl, Michelle Hope Walker.